Welcome to Augmented Teachings, where we'll talk about the things that will inspire us to think better, feel better, and in turn be better. I'll be your host, Todd Michael Jackson, and my co-host here, Brandy Bagano. How are you doing, Brandy? I'm so great. Happy to be here. How are you, Todd? Good. I'm glad we're finally here on uh, on Talk 960, and it's a very exciting time for us. I know. So um, today, I want to guess, just get a basis on who we are. Mm-hmm. So with me, I had some some issues with trying to figure out with God and the afterlife and, and, and really wanted some real definitive answers, not a bunch of gray area, some real solid things I could hang my hat on. Mm-hmm. And I asked, I asked spirit for that. And lo and behold, a couple of days later, I start down an avenue of reading near death experiences. Mm-hmm. And I've been doing that for the last 10 years. So I have a very fundamental understanding of God and the afterlife without any baggage of religion hanging over it so i can give people a fundamental black and white uh understanding without any any judgment based ideals Mm -hmm. and i want to bring that to people so that they can know what's what's out there what's expected of you now and what's waiting for you on the other side and i met you brandy Mm -hmm. you did i did at the spiritual center yes and I have a very fundamental fundamental understanding of the why, right? Mm-hmm. But you have the how. Right. So tell me about that. So the how for me is my spiritual practice of mindfulness and meditation. And basically my understanding is that there are many paths to God. There are yes. many paths to, you know, enlightenment or, or uh, spiritual development, we'll say. And I like to talk about the things that... I use as a spiritual practice. Yes. And then you kind of give me the understanding of the why. And it's like, that makes sense for me because me being a more of a, a empathetic feeling spiritual person, mm-hmm. I have the the understanding on how it makes me feel when I right. meditate and what happens to me during my spiritual practice of being mindful and, and positive and, and prayer and affirmations and all the things that make up my existence, you right. know? Right. But then when you add in the why... It just makes me, um, I guess, understand it on a deeper level and understand myself and right. this purpose of life. Right, this purpose of life, mm-hmm. which that's our first subject. Our first subject today is the purpose of life. Absolutely. And I want to break that down in a fundamental way because actually uh, a purpose of life is a misnomer. There's two purposes of life. There's a purpose of life for your soul and a purpose of life for your vessel. And I want to break down the, the soul one first. Okay. So every person on this planet has the same purpose of life. And that purpose of life is to work the puzzle of unconditional love. And our soul keeps coming back until it does. Mm-hmm. And God has infinite patience and allows us to come back as many times as we wish to break down the dysfunctionalities of previous lifetimes, mm-hmm. to overcome hate and fear and judgments that we've had in the past we're allowed to come back and correct those mistakes. Mm-hmm. And we choose to do so because the more we develop our souls in love and acceptance, the more beautiful our soul is when we finally return it back to God. Mm-hmm. And that more beautiful that gem actually is. Mm-hmm. The second purpose of life, God is a creator, but our vessels are the experiencer. And we're put into these vessels to experience for God, to experience beautiful times, to, to experience experience the things that God can't experience. We are the diplomats for God. We come down here and learn, but we also experience and give, bring back God what God has created, so to speak. As we enjoy each other's time, enjoy experiences, enjoy Enjoy things that are different. And even though we might do things that are the same as everybody else, we look at it through different eyes because we are different souls and different and different vessels. So therefore, we, we come down here to bring these experiences back to relive and to share with God and each other. Right. And I like to think of each individual as a diamond, so mm-hmm. to speak. And we have those um, those different facets, right? So yes. we are a multifaceted being. Yes. And that one diamond 
I think of is God, mm -hmm. that it, there's only one, there's only one source yes. of all creation, right. whether you call it God, whether you call it source, you yeah. know, the universe, infinite intelligence, supreme being, there's so many names. Right. There's only one. There's only one. Right. right. And within this one contains everything, mm -hmm. all of life. All of and it. so I like to think of each individual as one of those facets of mm -hmm. that diamond mm -hmm. of God. And so mm -hmm. the more I live and move and have my being in this mm -hmm. state of consciousness mm -hmm. in this vessel, mm -hmm. uh, the, the more I practice and, you know, kind of clean up this, um, this experience, mm -hmm. the better I'm able, able to bring that back to that whole, right. because, you know, if part of that diamond is dirty, it's not going to shine as bright. Right? right. If, if part, if there's a, if there's a dark spot on one of those little facets, mm -hmm then you're not going to be able to see through that clearly. And the light of the divine is not going to be able to shine through as clearly. So that's my intent and my purpose. Mm -hmm. Right. I, I, we start off as diamonds in the rough. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and every lifetime we come here, we develop another facet, another facet making our, our souls more beautiful. And, and the more beautiful our soul or our diamond is, mm -hmm. the better a gift it is for God. Absolutely. And we choose to come back here to fix because one of the things people don't realize is when you return back home and you go through your past life review, which is a, a reliving of, of your life, but feeling also is attached because mm -hmm. God exists at the atomic level and all vibration is known. Mm -hmm. So when you return back home, you go through your past life review, God doesn't judge you. God's love is unconditional. Mm -hmm. We are asked if you're ready to return back home. And we usually say no because there's areas we can improve. Mm. We do so, we do this as a labor of love mm -hmm. so that we can bring God the best version of our soul. Well, there are different levels of, you know, development of the soul, right? right. And so I think when we're a younger soul, we don't want to go through all that. Mm -hmm. But after we've gone through it so many lifetimes, <laughs> yes. and so many incarnations, right. then we get to develop our soul and we have more wisdom and we have more understanding of why we would even want to incarnate on this planet right. at this time, <laughs> you know, in these vessels yes. and do what it is that is ours to do. Right, right. And and as my I have my mom passed recently mm -hmm. and uh I, I pose her that question all the time. I said, <laughs> uh, are you going to come back, mom, you know, and, and fix any deficiencies you may have, you know, you know, God rest your soul. And she'd be like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm not coming back to this place ever again. Right. <laughs> right. Did not like it. Not a fan. And I said, mom, if you were in heaven for 10,000 years, would you come back for the opportunity to fall in love with that again? Mm. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I do that. I do that. And I'm like, okay then there is a chance you'll come back. And the thing is, the thing is, is time on the other side of the veil is different. Mm -hmm. We usually come back four to, four, to, four to six months later, you know, maybe 10,000 years in heaven, but here it's, it's different time. It's a t different timeline. Right, time, time and space acts right. differently. Right, there, there it's circular and here it's linear. Mm -hmm. So when people realize that, you know, we don't come back right away. We spend so much time in heaven, planning out our next lives and coming back and coming back with the intent of learning something new to create a better facet on that diamond that we are. Mm -hmm. So beautiful. It is beautiful. I know that, you know, like, like I was saying earlier in our show today, I have a, I have, my understanding is more feeling, mm -hmm. but when you put that why it makes me, it almost makes me want to use my tools and it makes me want to practice more because mm -hmm. then I have a deeper understanding, mm -hmm. you know, so I want to do my mindfulness. I want to do my, um, you know, my meditation where mm -hmm. I'm clearing out my individual consciousness right. because I'm bringing that back to the other side of the veil right. and I'm developing my soul. So I'm like, I declared several years ago that uh -huh. this is the timeline mm -hmm. that I get to work the puzzle of unconditional, unconditional love. love so much. Because I know what happens after this. I have a deeper understanding right. of and that. Right, and that's the whole purpose for this show. Absolutely. When people realize what the goals are, mm -hmm. they change their whole framework well, on, on how they break life down. Mm -hmm. You know, the goal isn't to have all these material things. Not that having material things is wrong, thing, but that's not the goal. The goal is to develop your soul and, and to bring back beautiful memories, mm -hmm. you know? And when people realize that, I spend my whole life just living in fear, anger, and judgment. Mm. When you relive that back home, some people have their passive review and it's very, very difficult because they just live their life with judgment and hate. Mm. 
yeah. you know, day to day to day to day instead of finding ways. And that's what I've learned from you is you, you teach people how to overcome this judgment and hate right. through your practices and your tools. Mm -hmm. and, and that's, I've learned so much from you already. But I, but I want you to help all these other people yeah. that are listening right now how to do these things. So as this show continues, we're going to have, I'm going to bring more enlightening ideals mm -hmm. and ideas, and you're going to give more of the how. Exactly. Week after week after week. As long as Talk 960 allows us to. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just so grateful for this opportunity for us coming together um, here on this show. And this is a perfect demonstration that our thoughts do create our reality because this has been a reality in my mind yes. for a long time. Yes. And, you know, in, 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 in my life, I say treat and move your feet. And so it's like I, you know, I pray about something. I set my intentions. I do my manifestation work, you mm -hmm. know, whatever, whatever ways people want to call prayer but basically that's what it means to me right and now here we are right and um i like to think of life as a game not like monopoly because you know you were talking about it's not about gaining possessions right well in monopoly or dominating we're... others right Right. exactly right. like in you know the game of monopoly you know we're we're taught to you know have money and, and spend and all these different things mm -hmm. and um that's not the game of life in this way you right. know but when we can know the rules of this life right and the goals of this life mm -hmm. and the objective of that mm -hmm. game Mm -hmm. yes. And we're like, oh, I can play that game so much easier now mm -hmm. because I have a deeper understanding. Right. That's what we like to talk about here, mm -hmm. you know. Right. And um, so. The quality of life matters because mm -hmm. you're able to bring back better versions of yourself back home. Right. And I think when people start to realize it's not about the rat race that we're in. Mm -hmm. It's actually about breaking down who we want to be and who we want to return as. Because everybody thinks that we live here, but we don't. This is just where we visit. This is where we. This is where we learn. This is our. This is our classroom. Earth is mm -hmm. our classroom. We're and in life school. <laughs> we're in life school. So. And since we're in life school, you know, we get to play. And I'm so grateful that we are here on Talk 960 every Saturday and Sunday. And um, we're actually going to take a commercial break, and we will be right back. Today's show is sponsored by the High Desert Center for Spiritual Living, and we are having a Healthy Spirit Fair. It's on April 22nd, 2023. And we are looking for vendors. So if you are interested in being a vendor for a Healthy Spirit Fair that gathers hundreds of people and you are in the realm of body, mind, spirit development, please reach out to the High Desert Center for Spiritual Living. The phone number is 760-242-2302. Thank you. So we're back. And the next subject is something that's very near and dear to me. Mm -hmm. And that is uh, the whispers of God. The whispers of God, which mean a lot to you too. Yes. So tell me what whispers of God to you mean. Well, as I was talking about earlier in the show, there are many ways to pray. There are many paths to God. And I like to think of praying as speaking to God mm -hmm. and meditation as listening to God. Mm -hmm. There is no one way to pray. The most important, in, the most important part of the prayer is the belief and your connection to source. Yes. And so through mindfulness, mm -hmm. practices of quieting the mind, mm -hmm. you know, simply just taking a breath, mm -hmm. we can put our intention out there to connect to source. And being in that present moment, you know, we can't we can't leave this physical mm -hmm. vessel and go back on the other side of the veil mm -hmm. because we're still attached to this vessel, right. you know, but through our mind, through mm -hmm. our consciousness, through our heart, mm -hmm. through our feelings, our emotion, we can get there. And if if we're thinking about so many things that are stressing us out or we're in a lower vibration of anger, fear, sadness, frustration, any of those, you know, lower vibrational emotions, that's going to lower our frequency and we're not going to be able to connect to source. We're not going right. to be able to connect on the other side of the veil. So that's why I use my practices of mindfulness mm -hmm. and meditation to quiet the mind, mm -hmm. calm the body so that now I am vibrating at a calm frequency and I can listen to those whispers of God, of yes. source. Yes, I, I fully understand. It's so important that when you're at home or out on the road or whatever you're doing to to move away from negativity and mm -hmm. judgment and hate. It really is because when you move away from those frequencies, you align yourself more with love and compassion and acceptance. Mm -hmm. You don't have something battling you all the time, bringing you over to the negative side. Not to say you have don't have to judge situations for what they are mm -hmm. right but you don't have to dwell on them either 
No, it's not that we're, we're, we're turning right. a blind eye and we're saying, oh, this condition doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. I'm not feeling this or I'm not sensing or perceiving mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. because now I'm going to close my eyes and I'm going to meditate and I'm mm -hmm. going to go back to, you know, heaven mm -hmm. or, or, you know, connect with God. Mm -hmm. No, we don't, we don't put our heads in the sand and say this right. isn't happening. Right. But in any given moment, we have the power to choose mm -hmm. to respond mm -hmm. or react. Right. And usually we can respond with kindness, with love. Mm -hmm understanding acceptance or we can react right. with anger fear judgment any mm -hmm. of those lower vibrations mm -hmm. and for me the highest vibration of god is love and so mm -hmm. anything that i can do any tools any practices anything that i can do mentally physically or emotionally that right. are going to help me mm -hmm. to connect with that higher source that i am mm -hmm. then i'm just more connected with god right and i know uh, some people are going through difficult times mm -hmm. different situations in their life whether, you know, it might be a job or it might divorce or something, but, but being mindful enough to not add more drama and hate and judgment mm -hmm. by visiting areas that promote that, whether it be on TV or radio or anything else that are, are, are hate filled, you add that to you, to your, your already, your rep your plate that's already full of it. It's going to take longer and longer and longer to get into the, into the, vibration of love and acceptance. Mm -hmm, absolutely. And I do believe that we live in a cause and effect universe. Mm -hmm. This whole reality is based on cause and effect and the yes. law of attraction. And so if I am thinking a, a lower vibrational thought, two things are happening. Mm -hmm. I'm creating more of that frequency mm -hmm. because of the law of attraction. I'm mm -hmm. lowering my vibration. And then the law of cause and effect, there's going to be an effect to that. And I may not like that effect. Yes. I've lived that way. Mm -hmm. I used to live in a totally different paradigm with a different set of beliefs, thoughts, actions, mm -hmm. and that's what was driving my life at that time. Mm -hmm. And I decided <laughs> several years ago that I was not going to live that way anymore. Right. I needed something different. So right. that's what that's what started my spiritual journey because I knew that there was more to life than what I was living. Yes. And I had dreams. I had God speaking to me. I mm -hmm. had source mm -hmm. directly downloading into my consciousness mm -hmm. that there was more to this life. Right. And when I found... Um, we'll just say my, my different spiritual practices, mm -hmm. I was able to stay open mm -hmm. and to stay curious mm -hmm. and to continue down that path. <clears throat> yeah, I understand totally. And somebody posed a question today about male malevolent, malevolence, malevolence. Mm -hmm. And I wanna, I wanna answer that because all things come from God, right? But certain things don't. So I always use the, I use the scenario where you see an old lady walking across the street, mm -hmm. right? She's elderly and she has a hard time walking and you're inspired to go help her across the street, right? That kindness and that gentleness and that loving attempt to help another human being, that's inspired by God. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't feel that. I say I don't wanna go over and take her purse instead because she can't fight back. That's not inspiration from God. Mm -hmm. That's inspiration from a dysfunctional ego of fear and greed because it's malicious intent and malicious intent so that did not come from god right right that came from a dysfunctional human so sometimes people people might think oh well that was a whisper from god because i felt that i heard that in my head i right. had that intent that i wanted mm -hmm. to go do that right that's the difference between a whisper from god and mm -hmm. a malicious intent right where does that malicious intent come from then right so it comes from it comes from fear everything that's negative a negative feeling thought or vibration comes from fear mm -hmm. all the derivatives of fear or anger, judgment, greed, uh, violence, all those things come from fear. Mm -hmm. So our job is literally to overcome fear. Mm -hmm. And the more times we're here on this planet in different vessels and in different incarnations, the better we are at overcoming the dysfunctionalities of a vessel. Because we're, we're perceiving things differently through this vessel, th right. through a higher state of consciousness. Right. right. And that's why a lot of people are like, how come this person is so hate filled and this person is so joy filled? Mm -hmm. Not all souls here are the same age. Exactly. Some had more attempts at learning. Not, not every old soul at one time was a younger soul mm -hmm. and had those same issues, but they've overcome them because they've had more attempts at doing so. Mm -hmm. They have more practice. <laughs> right. That's why you have some people that are, are you know, more aligned with, with judgment and hate, and then mm -hmm. some are, are, are more aligned with altruism. You know, one of the ways that I have helped to, you know, overcome judgment now I will disclaimer, I am still human. Mm -hmm. You know, we are working yes. that, that, that soul development, you know, we're, right. we're, we're each individuals. And like you said, 
we may be at different developmental ages or mm. levels of the soul. Right. And this is a classroom. So earth mm. here, this life is a classroom. Mm -hmm. And I kind of think of it as like the old school style of, you know, schoolhouse where there's multiple ages, multiple grades, all in one yes. classroom. Yes, it's like Little House on the Prairie where exactly. everybody's in one classroom. And so, you know, the teacher's not going to get upset at the kindergartner because she's teaching, you know, math at a higher level to right. the middle school kids or whatever. Mm -hmm. You know, she's got to understand, he or she, the teacher, whoever, has got to mm -hmm. understand that all these students are at a different level developmentally. Right. And... That really helps me here right. in my incarnation because when I'm dealing with somebody and if I'm feeling those <laughs> those lower vibrational emotions of anger, frustration, you know, mm -hmm. somebody cut me off or somebody did something, mm -hmm. instead of playing the victim mm -hmm. and being like, why is this happening to yes, me? Yes. I don't like this situation, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever mm -hmm. that is. Well, I can choose to remember and it's all a choice right. really right. because nobody can think for us. Nobody can choose for us. We have that power. Right. And when I can choose to remember that maybe that soul is in kindergarten, maybe they don't know right. math at the way that I, I do, know. maybe right. they're not understanding life the way that I do. So it brings it from way up top and it like kind of calms me down. It's right. like, okay, now I can have compassion for this person because mm -hmm. this person is learning just as I am. Right. right. And I want somebody to think that same way about me. If, if I'm maybe having some mistakes or, or there's an error in my ways, mm -hmm. I'm not a bad person. Right. I'm learning and developing just like they are. Right. And, and, and the same with me. Mm -hmm. If I see somebody with bumper stickers of hate, I'm like, okay, that's just a younger soul. Mm -hmm. Just keep on going. I understand. It's okay. It, it's, it's just the way it is. Um, but we don't know how, how well that soul is actually doing right now. Mm -hmm. This soul, because we only see things through a keyhole. We don't see things through the lifetime of a soul, um, of, a, of a soul's lifetime, which is forever. So when you look at an individual lifetime, you look at the journey of a soul, it's mm -hmm. much, much bigger. This person that you may see walking down the road might have judgment and hate and dysfunctionality spewing from their mouth, but last lifetime, they were way worse. Mm -hmm. They may be doing way better than last lifetime, when you, but we don't know. Mm -hmm. So I always give them a pass, I understand. I understand your hate and your judgment is coming from a certain place. Hopefully you're doing better for yourself this time than you did last. And it, and it calms me down, I'm like, okay, I understand who you are and where you're at, mm -hmm. but I can't get mad at a second grader for not knowing algebra. I just cannot, you know, they're not, they're not there yet. So we have to be patient. The best thing, the thing is I always tell people is we're here to develop one soul, our, our, own, our, own, our absolutely. own soul. So, so remember that whenever you're sitting there in judgment of somebody that's passing judgment upon others, <laughs> that's not the way either. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Remember, just remember you're here to develop your own soul, find ways to calm yourself down mm -hmm. and look at them through different eyes. Absolutely. And, and I was laughing because, you know, that's actually happened to me. I've had that experience mm -hmm. where I was judging myself because I was judging somebody else <laughs> for being in judgment. Yeah. And I, I, I literally had to sit with myself and really do that internal work because I remember yeah. I'm not doing this work for anybody else. Right. I'm doing this work for myself. So in a, in a way, it's a gift mm -hmm. when I'm able to recognize that, oh, wait a minute, am I sitting in judgment? Where, yeah, yeah. Can, I, where can I shift here? Where can I recalibrate my energy and my thoughts and my emotions? Because again, I believe we live in a cause and effect universe. So right. if I'm in judgment, mm -hmm. then I'm going to be vibrating at a lower frequency, which in turn is going to attract more of that. And I don't want that. Right. I want to be as you know, as clear and clean as possible for my soul here, because I don't want to deal with that. Right. So yeah, I don't want to bring that back home right. on the other side of the veil, but I also don't want to live it now because I'm done with that paradigm. So I live in a different paradigm. And as I said, there are many paths and whichever anyone personally chooses that way that you connect is, is for you, yes. you know, and whatever we can do to help our higher self develop, that's what we're here to do. And, you know, this is our life as an individual and it's our soul's developing journey and it develops by the choices we make. So in any given moment we can choose, mm -hmm. am I going to, again, react or respond? Right. And that's how you say working the puzzle of unconditional love. Right. And that's one of the questions I like to answer right now is free will. Mm -hmm. Is it free will or predetermined? And I have a very simple answer. It's both. Mm. God knows all potentials but does not know what potential you'll be choosing for yourself. So it's both. 
And I am so excited that we're going to talk about that on our next show. Yes. So check us out at Augmented Teachings on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and wherever you listen to podcasts. And if you have any questions, please uh, ask them at AugmentedTeachings uh, at gmail.com. Absolutely. And we will see you here Saturday and Sunday on Talk 960. Thank you. Thank you.